This is my handy puzzle. To solve it, you will first need a pencil and an eraser. And it is sometimes helpful to have a ruler with you so you can see the numbers. Okay, when I'm ha solving Hanji, the first thing I do is add up what the clue numbers come to in each row so that I have some idea of how many of the spaces are filled up. I do this by adding first the numbers in the clues, like here. I will add up the 3 and the 1, and because they are two separate numbers, I will also add up another one for the space in between, making 5. The first thing I do once I've numbered it all is look for any numbers where the whole line is filled out, like this one on the bottom where we have 40 spaces and 40 spaces filled. And so I colour this in automatically. So you have eight that are filled and an empty space. You have five and an empty space. Nine empty space, two, five, two, three. And that is one whole complete line that you can colour in and you know that you don't have to work anything out at all. Now I'm going to cross-reference this row with the top row of numbers because this bottom row of numbers here corresponds to this bottom row of the puzzle. So, we have one, so that's a blank space. One blank space. A lot of ones. A lot of blank spaces. And after the blank spaces, a three. Which down here means I can fill this in and cross off the top. Next, a 2, which I can't do anything with because we're starting with a blank. Another 2, fill it in and cross it off. A blank space. From here, two twos. Cross them up. And then a three. Cross it off. Can't do anything with this one. A lot of ones, a lot of blank spaces. You get the idea, so what you need to do is carry on until you've corresponded all the top row numbers with these. As a prime example of why we need the eraser, I just filled in the bottom row wrong and had to readjust it. There is, as you can see, no way of figuring out where the three is yet, but the two and the two make really good shapes. So now, if you cross-reference back here, you can see that the 2211 is already filled in. So this whole line is done and you can cross off all the gaps because there's no more in any part of this line. So next what I do is I run up the numbers that I've calculated to find some where the greatest number is less than the number of squares left over. In that way you can follow along the line and by counting you can fill in some of the gaps because if you count this way 15 ends here and 11 ends here and if you count this way 1 and then a space the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 finishes here so these two spaces will always be part of the 11 and Similarly, when you count back to the 15, these six spaces will always be a part of the 15. You do this all the way up. For here, for example, these two spaces are part of the 17. 
I've given you a start, but I'm not going to solve it for you. Uh, when you have solved it, it will take a great deal of logical cross-referencing and an extraordinary amount of patience, and you will come up with a lovely picture to celebrate the Olympics. And we have this wonderful offer. The first person to bring in one of these hanjis completed to the flak office will win da -da. this lovely signed The Dark Knight Rises poster. <laughs>